my kids go to a small charter school, traditional academy, and um, I've been really overall incredibly pleased with the education they've got, the school experience they've gotten. It's been very different than what my school experience was. And I was talking to my junior. He went last week to junior camp overnight away. I think they were there for three nights and their teachers took them, small class. And they went up into the mountains and they did all these different exercises. And he told me about one particularly powerful exercise where they were each invited to write down a letter to someone else in their class without using any names and offer them forgiveness for something that may have happened in their past. Because this is a small school and he's been going there since he was in second grade. So from second grade until your junior year, you go through a lot, you grow up together. And then they did this exercise where their class, let's say it's 45 people that went, something like that, small. They got in two circles and they looked at one another, they were across from one another and they made eye contact for one minute while the teachers read the letters, no names. So the teachers were reading these letters about forgiveness and things that had happened. And then after one minute, they switched. So they made eye contact. They did this intimacy exercise for one minute with every single person in their class. And my junior, my 17 year old told me just how powerful this was. This is a 17 year old boy. And he said afterwards, people were crying it was really powerful. They were, people were forgiving one another for things that had happened in middle school. And I'm just offering this to you because I'm talking to him about what we're seeing in our community. And I think, you know, using our teens, getting them involved would be a very powerful thing. Mentors, and schools can do a lot. This was powerful. This was powerful for him. And I'll tell you, the teachers at the school, have had a profound impact on my kids. And my kids love their teachers and their teachers have known them for so long. So I just offer this as a antidote of what could be. And I would like to invite you all to share what great things have come from your schools. What great exercises can be done to really help children build emotional security, emotional intelligence, healthy relationships, respect for one another. 